And welcome to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com, and I'm still a little bit under the weather, and I do apologize if I sound uh, funny. Um, anyway, we're going to talk. We're going to do our last dictionary tutorial, and or well, dictionary uh, specific tutorial. I'm sure we'll use dictionaries a lot more in our tutorials, but um, this is going to be a less specific one, and we're going to talk about nesting. Uh, nesting is uh, when you put a data type inside another data type. Uh, it could be the same data type as, for example, here, two dictionaries inside each other, or a list or something like that. So we're actually nesting something into it, another data type. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about this is how do we access the inner uh, data type. So we're just going to work with dictionaries because it's basically the same for a uh, list. And we're just going to create a dictionary, and then we're going to work from there. We're going to learn how to uh, access it how to uh, change the value, how to uh, delete the value, and how to create a new value. So just just to help your, uh, your Python knowledge a little bit here. So uh, we're going to create a dictionary, a is equal to, and uh, curly brackets, and we're going to say name. And then I'm going to say, this is where we're going to nest another dictionary. We're going to do first, and we'll say Tom. And then comma, and then we're going to do last, and we'll do my last name, Myers. Now we close out that dictionary, so this dictionary is nested in this dictionary, and we'll put another one just out here for the heck of it, age, and I think I'm 34, so 34, and close out that dictionary. So what we have here is a dictionary, and inside the dictionary we have another dictionary. So in this case, name is the key, and it's a key for another dictionary. And then we have uh, first and last as keys inside that dictionary. And then out here we have uh, age, which is with name as a key. All right, so I'll hit return. So the first thing we want to do is access the last name. So how do we do that? We do A, square brackets, just like we did with regular dictionaries, name. So we got access to first key, and then we got access to second key. So close out your square brackets and another set of square brackets. And this time we're going to do last and square brackets. Hit return and we get Myers. So as you can see, what we have to do when we work with nested uh, dictionaries is, or nested data types, is be able to access the first one and then access the second key inside that to call it. So we're going inside this one and then we go one level down into this one alright so it's pretty simple so if we wanted to uh, change a value for example we change the first name to John let's do A and then we're going to get the first key name so now we're inside here now we need to get inside here so we do uh, square brackets first and then square brackets close it out. So now we're in this dictionary. Now we want to change the value. Do you, uh, we talked about this a couple tutorials ago. We just simply assign a new value by using the, the assignment operator. And we'll say John. All right, hit return. And if we call A, now we can see first name is John. All right, pretty cool, right? How about if we wanted to uh, add a new item, and an item's being a key and a value in a dictionary? Let's take a look at that. Um, so we'll do A, and then we want to get inside this this dictionary right here. So once again, we do name. Oops. So I'll be in string format. Square brackets, and then this time we're gonna put a new key because we're adding a new item. So our key's gonna be middle. So we're going to add a middle name, square brackets, and this is just like adding a new value. If it can't find the key that you're looking for, it's going to insert the key and the value. So middle, because we don't have middle in this dictionary, and then we're going to uh, put a new name, and I'll say Jake. All right, hit return, and then we call it. Now, as you can see, our nested dictionary now contains a middle name, Jake. All right. That's pretty cool. Now, how about if we wanted to uh, delete the one we just put in? Delete middle. All right. We'll use the del method and then a, since our dictionary is represented by the variable a, 
And then we're going to say delete. And then we're going to do name. All right. And we have to get back into this level here. So we're going to do middle. And square bracket. Hit return. Call A. Now, as you can see, middle has been removed from this dictionary. Now, be cautious when you're working with delete. If I would have went something like this and name, all right, and I don't specify my next level down, and I hit return, then I call A, up, oh, now we only have H34, so we lost a ton of data. So that's just something to be cautious about. But that's basic nesting in a dictionary in Python. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just got to understand, you got to step through the layers, all right? So if you have any questions about nesting in the dictionary in Python, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one. We'll be working with tuples.